It's currently minus three degrees out here today and this is going to be one of those really fun journeys where I have to decide if I really like history and walking because it's going to be a cold one. I start my journey here in Hangleton today on the search for a bit of history. I already found some, this lovely little windmill, the West Blatchington Windmill. It's been here since about 1820. It was a smock mill at one point. It was used for smugglers. They used to hide tobacco and alcohol behind the bags of grain. Unfortunately, it's not used for that anymore because I could have done with some alcohol. Let's warm ourselves up with a bit of, uh, let's aim for some Romans, some Saxons, some Normans, and do the lot. Come join me on this wonderful freezing cold day. This church here, St. Peter's Church, originates with the Saxons. Interestingly, they built the church in somewhere around the 10 hundreds. I don't know if that's the correct way to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway, the 10 hundreds. And this church was built out of like napped flint. It was uh, also built out of the remains of some Roman uh, settlements which were around the area. There are still sections of this church which are Saxon in origin. However, it was rebuilt in the 1700s because I guess it just got derelict as well. Interestingly, the Normans came over during the time of William the Conqueror, and William the Conqueror would have come over with a lot of his band of friends. They started divvying up the land around Sussex, and they started divvying up what they wanted. William the Conqueror started giving areas to his friends. They started to rebuild. They probably rebuilt sections of this church with something that's called Cayenne or Cyan. Or Cyan. I'm not sure how to pronounce it now. C-A-E-N is a stone that was brought over from Normandy, from France. I can actually show some over here. Like, it's this type of stone, not this one, because uh, this is flint. This is the thing that Fred Flintstone used to like wiping his bum with. The windmill has nothing to do with the Normans, but it's here, so have a look. It's lovely. The Saxons around that time were very much in power. They would have taken control of any remnant Roman buildings and architecture, and they were going to try to turn it into their own. Getting into the latter part of those years, those first hundred years of that century, you would have had William the Conqueror coming over from France, which was then known as Normandy. And he wanted very much to be king of England. He wanted king of as much land and property as he could get hold of. So he thought, that's not too far on the boat. Jump across the channel, we'll go see the English. Maybe we'll be a bit pally-pally at first. Maybe we'll hold a knife up to their king's throat and we'll take all their land. William the Conqueror came with his boats, parked up, and of course our king went with his troops to meet them, greet them, and tell them to go away. And William the Conqueror, in his big, thick French brogue, well, brogue's Irish, but, you get the idea, would have said, oh, ho, ho, ho. no. We're walking along West Way at the moment, which is in Hangleton, it's a very straight road, presumably originally built by the Romans. Uh, the Saxons certainly loved the fact that they were very straight roads, they were very easy to traverse, and the Normans would have been very much attracted to the fact that there was almost a straight pass straight through Sussex, from one end to the other. And there was also a very much uh, straight route from the place where we're going, which is Old Portslade, Portslade Town, Portslade Village, uh, through up to Patcham. And then from Patcham, kind of hangs a left, starts heading up towards uh, Haywards Heath and up towards Streatham in London. We're just coming up now to Greenlease Park, just around the corner from this park. 
There's a couple of little nuggets that I want to go and see. Lovely little snow-covered mound. A bit like up Devil's Dyke. But on up the dyke was allegedly the Devil's Burial Ground. These mounds are something far more pleasant. So here we are at the start of the Benfield Valley just up around the corner that way from me is Hangleton Manor we'll go have a look at that uh, I don't know much history about Hangleton Manor I didn't do any research on this place because I wasn't sure if I was going to swing by here but given its close proximity on my route I thought I may as well today well, an interesting bit of history local history about that sign it was donated by J Sainsbury PLC no longer but back in the 90s J Sainsbury was a small supermarket chain owner and he bought some of the land here in the Benfield Valley to have a big supermarket just down the road and he gifted some money to the upkeep of the area of natural beauty to Hove Borough Council and during the late 90s Hove Borough Council was absorbed and become Brighton and Hove City Council when Brighton and Hove pushed to become a city. And this is Benfield Valley. You see this was an embankment pre-Norman would have been Saxon pushed up all this embankment to protect I guess make it a bit more of a difficult climb the soldiers coming through the Norman soldiers William the Conqueror's best friends as they came through to Old Port Slade to try to claim some of the properties and land the farms the manor houses we've just been to see one down the way Angleton Manor. After they claimed that one, they probably came through here looking for more treasures, more land, more buildings to occupy. Now, it's just a bit of a shithole. Well, it is, isn't it? I left it to go derelict, I guess, overgrown. Lots of holes, divots, and not much history left. Let's get the hell out of here and carry on to our next destination. Ah, oh, shit. Walked all the way out this way to Port Slade Manor, only to find that it's closed. On the road again, just can't help myself being on the road again. Hi, Mum. I look like the shredder. Teenage mutant, why the hell walk? Probably should stop saying hell around the church. Please, please let the church be open. If you enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them, why don't you click on another video right here? And why don't you click the subscribe button at the top of my observation tower? Ooh, madam. It's cold. I want to go home.